Cinema 4D R25 was released a couple of weeks ago with a fresh look and an interesting set of features. But some might think of them as just decorative features, which means some people liked them and others didn't. The first thing that might strike you when you see the user interface is how similar it is to Blender's UI. I don't know what the developers are thinking about, but I am pretty sure that the new user interface has never gotten closer to looking like Blender's user interface. I think that Cinema 4D looks better now, but I also personally believe that having a strong identity and being different is important even when it is not the most attractive thing, or the most desirable, especially if people love it already and don't have a problem with it. In addition to the new look of the new release, they have added new little features in the user interface that can make the workflow faster and easier. Also, they have added tabs, like what you can find in modern browsers to be able to work on different projects at the same time. The asset library of this release has seen some improvements and new assets in there. Also, it gives you access to your own assets that allow you to work on different projects. The asset library is organized so it can make finding something easier. In addition to that, you have a search function that allows you to find assets even faster. And of course, the library is continuously updated with new stuff every month according to Maxon. Also, they have added extensive new preset support for objects and tools and other elements with attributes in Cinema 4D. This will allow you to save and bring your assets and elements easily and fast. They have also added the ability to import native logo design formats directly to Cinema 4D. This will allow you to work on your 2D designs directly in the 3D viewport if you need 2D shapes for 3D projects. And if you want to do that in Cinema 4D, actually you can do this if you want your 2D design or logo to be three-dimensional in a short period of time. Furthermore, capsules can now be used directly in Cinema 4D using the object manager as primitives, generators, or geometry modifiers, which opens the door for more possibilities and makes things less complicated than before. Also, we have to talk about Cinema 4D's Scene Manager that uses powerful node-based assets to construct procedural geometry or entire scenes in a hierarchy-based view. The Scene Manager allows you to have a fast and creative workflow similar to what you can do with Cinema 4D's Classic Object Manager. You will simply have to bring objects by dragging them into the Scene Manager. In addition to that, there are a lot of features that we didn't talk about that actually came with this release. So if you want more information, you can go to Maxon's official website. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.